So this is a head off of a 95 Jeep that potentially was overheated and has internal engine damage that we aren't sure of. It could use a valve job. We've got some leakage around the exhaust valves and instead of doing a valve job on an engine that actually needs to be replaced, we're going to do a hand lap. And hand lapping um, basically takes small um, what's the word I'm looking for? Small problems in the valve surface you can, you can see those little divots takes those out and allows the valve to seal again uh, normally this would get a valve job but instead of spending 500 bucks on an engine that may not be worth spending any money on we're going to do a hand lap so what is a hand lap hand lapping it came out of the out of the early days and in some third world countries they still use it but it basically takes a suction cup that holds the valve, uh, two different grinds of material are put on the valve itself, put back in the hole, and you can hear the grinding action just by doing the twist. So this is hand lapping. I worked with a Cuban years ago in mid 70s from the Cuban crisis. He didn't speak any English, I didn't speak any Spanish, but we got along really well. He told me that this is how they did valve jobs and it would take a week to do a valve job on a six cylinder. This is a little bit too time consuming and I've sold my valve equipment many years ago because machine shops started doing the valves and uh, it just became something that we didn't do. But if we do this long enough, we can polish this valve and get those little imperfections out of the valve surface. Valves have to seal really well to allow fuel and air mixture to come into the cylinder, combustion to take place, and then exhaust valve opens up and allows the exhaust to go out of the cylinder. So we need these valves to seal very well. Instead of doing it by hand, and we've got 12 valves here, I've come up with a thought process of doing it uh, with a drill. Whether this is going to work or not, I don't know. They do sell drill-operated materials uh, or devices out there. This is just a piece of heavy-duty hose, hydraulic hose, with an oversized drill bit stuck in the end of it. I've taken a unibit, which is a stepped bit, and I've gone down in here and I've opened this up just a little bit so that it will accept the valve. And what I'm going to do is push this onto the valve after the valve is in place, and we're going to run this with a drill. And basically, we're just going to speed that action up of the hand action and do it with uh, a machine. So we're going to try it and see if it works, and uh, maybe there's a cheap alternative to hand lapping. So a little bit of lubricant on the stem itself. We've got valve grinding compound on the valve. I've got the drill set on slow speed. see what we got. That's probably five minutes of hand lapping. And there's a lot of the imperfections that have been taken out. So now I'm going to switch to the fine grind because I've got enough of the heavy stuff out of here that I think the fine will help finish it up and we'll see what happens if you like having things ready in the room okay so we're going to go with the fine grind and all this is a different coarseness of grinding or lapping material. I have no clue what the actual material is. A little more lube on the valve stem. Hold it in. 
that on there so that it's good and tight. Okay. A little more pressure. looking a lot better. We still got a little ways to go, but there's probably 90% of the imperfections taken out of that valve. So, this is what we started with. You can see the imperfections around that surface. And those aren't really large, but I can feel them with my fingernail. And now we've got it down to where there's just very few pit marks at all. So a few more minutes of this, and I think we're going to have a lapped valve. And then we'll put everything back together again, and we'll test them for leaks. Uh, it wasn't real bad when we started, leak-wise, but it was something of concern. And again, to save money and not put a lot of uh, time and effort into an engine that may not be any good, we're, uh, we're cutting corners here. So this is the old way of doing valve jobs, and I'm talking 1940s, 1950s. Uh, before machines were actually brought forward. Okay, so this appears to be working really, really well. I'm going to push the valve out so you can see what's on the back side. We've got a big steely. Show the steely. We've just got a big steel marble on the back side to put pressure on the valve itself to hold it in place. And then running the drill on low speed. Valve lapping using uh, an electric drill, and so far I think I think we've got a good process here. So we're going to continue on. Okay, so this is the head that has been lapped, and we've used a real fine solvent. Um, in this case, Kim Tool, Berryman's Kim Tool. That's a great substance to put in gas tanks to get rid of water and ethanol. Uh, but we filled the, each cylinder with liquid and we're going to blow shop air pressure into each one of the ports and see if we get bubbles around the valve. If there are no bubbles, these valves are sealed and they're good enough to go. So um, let's go ahead and give it a try. And we know that a lot of these were leaking prior to. Good. Take this one back apart. That's what we don't want. So we've got a valve that didn't seal. So out of 12 valves, this is the only one that fails that test. And that's actually really good. <laughs> one out of 12. <laughs> So that's exactly what we don't want to see. On so one bad cylinder. So we'll take that one back apart again and we'll uh, relap it, take a look at it a little closer, find out what happened to it. Good job. Okay, so we took this one valve apart and where the air was leaking out of it, there was a little piece of trash that had fallen down in the valve as we were putting things together. And uh, you know, everything is really clean here, but a little piece of trash got underneath there, and that's exactly where the leak was. So um, we took it apart, cleaned it, and we didn't do anything else. Put it back together, and we don't have a leak. So that just goes to show you what a little piece of carbon can do when it gets between a valve seat and a valve. And this happens while engines are running, and you'll get an intermittent miss. And it's from the carbon that gets built up inside the combustion chamber or the valve um, chambers. So, good job, we got this one done. Okay, so in this particular instance where we didn't want to put a lot of money into an engine that we're not sure is good, this little homemade device lapped the valves in a couple of hours uh, without having to have a valve job. 
And uh, if the engine runs and it doesn't burn oil in about a thousand miles, then we know that this engine was okay. But right now we're, we're questioning its ability to be able to perform. So we didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So this is a way to do a valve job um, like we did back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. This is not a preferred way, but uh, it is a way to cut corners.